the people said, well, if we don't need black labor anymore, what do we do with it? Well, we have to set up a system in the commercial, in the commercial system, or at least incorporate black people into the commercial system so that they make us money without having to do the labor of you know, picking cotton or picking sugar cane or whatever. We already passed that. So how do we make a more sophisticated plantation where we can keep slaves? Well, let's criminalize pretty much every damn thing that we do. There are over a million laws on the books now. Who needs a million laws? Unless you want to control people's behavior. The police presence has always been in the black community because we are prisoners of war. That's number one. The original police were created to catch slaves. They were slave catchers. There was no need to police a white society. There was no need for that in early America. There was no need for that. Police even became wild when uh, it, police were always about guarding property. That's what the police are about, guarding property. That's it. Their job gets stretched out to a moral responsibility and public safety uh, and that kind of thing later on in their development. But the original concept of a police officer is to make sure your property stays with you. They are hired by the rich, first of all, to protect the rich's property. 80% of prisons are found in Republican districts because you may have a town of, let's say, 20,000 people. Let's say you have 20,000 prisoners in the prison in your community. When it's time to be taxed, when it's time to get money from the government, you have 40,000 people. And even though those other 20,000 never get money that are in prison, they're accounted for in your population. Well, the war on drugs was part of a grand Republican Party strategy known as the Southern Strategy of using racially coded, get tough appeals on issues of crime and welfare to appeal to poor and working class whites, particularly in the South, who were anxious about or resentful of many of the gains of African Americans in the civil rights movement. And um, President Richard Nixon's um, former chief of staff, um, Haldeman, um, described the strategy this way, and I believe I'm recalling the quote correctly. He said, quote, the whole problem is really the blacks. The key is to devise a system that recognizes this while not appearing to, end quote. People look at it as a civil rights violation, but it's really a human rights violation because it's criminal what they're doing to black people on a mass scale, criminalizing the image of black people and railroading them into a jail system really for profit. That's slavery and that's a human rights issue and black people need to start treating that as a human rights issue. So we shouldn't go to the courts here because the courts here are in cahoots with the private organizations that's railroading all of these black men into the prison system. So if black people are gonna do anything, they need to take this fight to the world court, to the world stage. Well, I do think